Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. My name is Taj and I have a hair haul for you today. I have not done one of these in quite a while. I have been hauling makeup way more than hair products because I've been finishing up products that I've had for a long time, but it was time to do a little replenishing and try some new and fun products so that I could share them with y'all. So let's go ahead and jump into what I picked up. You guys will see this one probably after this. I have done a uh, demo and review on this product line, but I picked up the TGIN Rose Water line. I picked up four products from the line because that's all that they had uh, at Ulta where I purchased them. They didn't have any more of the line. I looked on other um, and other on air, other platforms to purchase it, but I couldn't find anything. So I just went ahead and made the purchase there. So what I picked up is the Rose Water Soothing Leave-In Conditioner right there. And I picked up the Rose Water Curl Defining Styling Gel. You know if there's a gel involved, I had to have it. So these two products and I picked up their Rose Water Hy uh, Hydrating Hair Mask. I loved their hydrating hair mask in their previous line, the very first one. And so I was hoping that this one was gonna be just as great. And here that goes. Next up is the Rosewater Curl Defining Mousse. There you go. Picked up a couple more Paul Mitchell products. I have a really large one, like a 33 gallon or 33 fluid ounce one in my shower. And that one's pretty new as well. I bought them at the same time. Um, I just didn't feel like going to get it. <laughs> it's in the shower, but that one was hauled as well. I am talking about the lavender mint moisturizing shampoo and conditioner from his tea tree line. I like these a lot, a lot. And so does my family. So I picked those up. So I picked up a product line that's pretty new to me and I'm gonna tell you the claims got me and the packaging as well. Nothing crazy cool about the packaging but I just thought it was kind of cool and different and I like the descriptions and the claims that they made because they have apple cider vinegar in them and they're supposed to be really good for your scalp. This is the Bondi Boost HG sh uh, shampoo and looks like that. I also got the uh, conditioner right there and their dandruff shampoo so you guys know i have super sensitive scalps uh, scalps <laughs> i only have one scalp but you know i have a super sensitive scalp so um i picked this up to see uh if this would help so i'm excited to give it a shot used it once actually um and it wasn't enough to tell you know how i liked it but it has a really nice tea tree type scent to it that I enjoy. Uh, so we will see. You guys know that I'm a big fan of the It's a 10 deep conditioner and they had the It's a 10 silk press silk conditioner and I had to give this a try because it has so many cool claims that we can get into later, but looks like that. So I figured if I love the other one as much, hopefully this one will be a strong contender. Uh, contender so we'll see a new edge control this is the uh, design essentials honey and shea edge tamer uh, this was really more of a necessity buy because I am all out of edge controls and so I figured why not give it a new one a shot so we'll see uh, tea tree oil from the body shop because this is a staple I like to drop it in my uh, castor oil mix it's just really good for my scalp so if there is anyone that wants to tell me that samples and deluxe size products aren't extremely helpful, I'd like to have that debate with you because I am a big fan. Like I mentioned in a lot of my videos, oftentimes you can get them for free with your purchase um, or they'll come in like your beauty kits, like they'll just throw in like smaller extra products and they help. They really help you to determine whether or not something is worth your time and your money, especially at what um, these products cost these days. This is the Redken Fifth Avenue 25 Benefits One United All-in-One Multi-Benefit Treatment. 
I mean, really? <laughs> there we go again with the extremely long names. But nonetheless, this is a 13.5 fluid ounce container. I decided to go ahead and get the big one. I made a purchase from Ulta when I was buying some of these other hair products and they sent this large, um, it was like free with purchase, uh, this really cool bag full of all these hair things and, um, uh, excuse me, skincare. And so I went ahead and tried one on my girl's hair because it, of the description, it claims to give like great hydration to the hair. And I thought, we'll see about that. And they had just come out of braids. So they needed that extra pick me up, you know, that extra punch of moisture and just something to help fortify the uh, cuticle. So I used their normal deep conditioner and decided to couple it with this. So I sprayed it on their hair, on the ends of the hair and just kind of worked it through and then went through with their normal deep conditioner. Wow, their hair was so hydrated. It was, the curls were popping. There was major elasticity when, cause I ended up uh, blow drying and flat ironing their hair. I mean, they, it looked like they didn't even have braids in their hair. Their hair looks so good. So I enjoyed the way it felt. It looked, it says it has anti-frizz, um, physic frizz properties. It smooths, moisturizes, and gives shine in that whole jam. I agreed with all that. So I went ahead and made the full size purchase. All started from a sample. The sample was like that big. And here is the full size. Yes. A product line that I have kind of just sat by for the for years now and kind of side-eyed like, oh, are y'all really worth those price tags? Um, and in that same set came a product from Weedad, came from Ulta by Weedad. It is the Ultra Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Looks like this. It's a little deluxe size that they sent me. I have already used it and I was blown away. My scalp was so happy. I just could, I was, I was like, what? I was clutching my invisible pearls. I was like, wow, this is awesome. So um, I went to purchase another one, a full size, because I was, of course, moving through this pretty nice, you know, pretty good. And I also figured while I'm at it, I'm gonna give the Wee Dad line some love and I'm gonna try some more stuff. Now, if y'all are familiar with Wee Dad, they are not cheap, okay? But they stand by the integrity of their products, they have great ingredients, and they're supposed to do some really cool things. Now, I haven't tried the line yet, so I'm really excited to do that on video for you guys and then do a review. But I picked up the Wee Dad Heat and Humidity Gel. This has like a cult following. People love this stuff. So I'm really excited to see how it can compare to my favorite gels when doing a wash and go. Then of course, I will do a twist out if the wash and go fails. And I picked up the cleansing, well, I was trying to pick up the cleansing oil, um, the same as the deluxe, but then I ended up getting the wrong thing shipped to me and I got the uh, ultra nourishing cleansing oil shampoo. And so I was kind of you know, curious like what the difference is. So I was gonna call Ulta and return it, decided to keep it and try it and it's awesome. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side, uh, video for you guys, just comparison video. I don't know if I'm gonna like shampoo my hair on, you know, and show you the difference, because I don't know that you can see that, but I will describe and just kind of go through the, um, you know, comparison video side-by-side. -side. Like I did with the, um, what, what, what line was that? Soltanicals, so. I also picked up their Curl Immersion Low Lather Coconut Cleansing Conditioner. It looks like this. this is a pretty good size and with the other products I should be able to make this last uh, this is a 16 fluid ounce container so the weed ad products are gonna be like my I need to treat my hair really good this week products you know what I mean so and hopefully the other ones that I picked up are just as amazing but we'll see only time will tell um, I got the weed ad curl immersion high defining custard and so we will see last and certainly not least I picked up the Felicia Leatherwood brush. Now this is supposed to be a like t detangling brush. So I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Clearly I haven't tried it yet. I got it in black. You can get it in a multitude of colors. Uh, yeah, so let's see. It says to achieve the best results, we recommend you use the brush 
during conditioning treatments, which is how we would probably use something like this anyway. Kind of reminds me of a Denman. I just threw my Denman out because the teeth had kind of come out of um, its, you know, where it was supposed to be. And um, so I had to throw it away because I couldn't get it back in there. I was trying to reattach it to see if I could do a comparison video for you, but it was, it, it, it died on me guys. So I threw it away, but uh, I'm excited to have a replacement and I hope this uh, is gonna be promising. So we'll see, it should be promising. I mean, everybody and their grandmother is talking about it. It's supposed to be awesome. So we'll see and I will let y'all know. Okay guys, that is it. Not bad, right? See, not too much damage for a hair haul. That's that guys. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.